Hello, my name is Adnina Popescu and I'm a data analyst at BT Provider. Today I will show you how to create a histogram with a normal distribution in Tableau. This type of chart helps end users to compare their data to a normal distribution with the same mean and standard deviation. Also, this helps end users to see if their data are distributed normally. For this, we already connected to the Superstore data source offered by Tableau. And our first thing that um, we have to do is to create some calculated fields. The first calculated field is called customer count with the formula count distinct of customer name. Now we have to create a LOD expression in order to get the total amount of sales by customer. For this, we have to create a calculated field with the formula fixed of customer name sum of sales. And we have to um, name this field sales by customers. Create another calculated field named mean with the formula average of sales by customers. We have no dimension as you want the mean to be calculated across the entire data set. And next we have to create another calculated field that is similar with this one, um, but um, we have to create the standard deviation. So create calculated field, standard deviation with the formula standard deviation of sales by customers. Now we have to create a parameter named size of sales bins. From the data type we will select integer and um, for the current value we will type in the value 500. Now we have to use this parameter in uh, a calculated field. Uh, named cells beans with the formula int of cells by customers divided by size of cells um, multiple uh, multiplied with size of cells. Now we have to create the last calculated field named normal curve. In order to create the curve for the normal distribution with the formula 1 divided by max of standard deviation multiplied with SQRT of DOI multiplied T. Multiplied with Oh, sorry, here. Yes. Now we have to drag the cells beans, which is a dimension, into the columns. Also, we have to drag the customer count on rows. Uh, the we have to change the visualization type into bar from the marks area. And now we have to drag the normal curve on rows next to the customer count and to change the visualization into line. 
Also, we have to uh, right click on the normal curve, the curve axis and select the dual axis. Uh, pay attention, um, you don't have to synchronize the axis. Um, we can um, hide the header and also we can make the visualization uh, to be entire view. And also we can change the, the colors. For example, for the normal curve, I will choose red and for the customer count, I will choose this color. Um, also, we can adjust the tooltip. Um, okay, this is our visualization. We can see that the left uh, side of the curve represents the score that um, fall below the average, and the right side represents scores that fall above the average. Um, this is our visualization. I hope that you liked it and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.